Come take a tour with Florida master naturalist Charlie Corbeil as he captures beautiful wildlife in the Vieira wetlands. These wetlands, I, I came here uh, uh, about a year after they were built in, uh, in 2001. When I first moved here, a field trip came out here and I learned that, that what was here and uh, what they had here, so uh, I've been coming back here ever since. A lot of uh, people uh, come here for uh, sunrise and sunsets because uh, the light is uh, nice that time of the day. The birds are more active in the morning and in the evening. They're either flying uh, back to roost at night or leaving the roost in the morning, so there's a lot of uh, birds flying around. A lot of photographers come here to take uh, flight shots. Here, a lot of the Florida photographers, I will tell you that uh, this is probably one of the best uh, places in Florida to shoot birds. And the wildlife keeps changing uh, with the seasons and with the day. Every single day is different here. Uh, we have otter, river otter here. Sometimes I see them right around, right around here, they hang out. And sometimes uh, there's so many of them, you can see a trail along the, along the edge of the pond where they walk. And we have uh, raccoons. I've seen uh, bobcats here. The best time of the year, uh, it starts with the fall migration, uh, late November, December. In January and February, it's probably the peak uh, breeding season. I try to catch these birds in their uh, breeding uh, plumage. We call it nuptial plumage. Uh, they get all of their brightest colors. The color of their skin changes, the color of their beak changes. Uh, the in environmental uh, pluses for a place like this are, this is a, uh, a waste treatment plant here that treats wastewater from the county. These wetlands have added a, a third stage of uh, purification to the water so the water leaving here is much cleaner than it was uh, before the wetlands were constructed and all of this water is uh, recycled a lot of families come with kids they ride around these roads uh, there's over three miles of roads here that they can drive on and uh, look at the wildlife and they get to see uh, a lot of these birds up close the birds have gotten used to the cars driving along these berms and uh, can't get that close to birds anywhere else in, in Florida. I, I do a couple things here. I do uh, offer guide service. Uh, people that uh, come from out of state or out of the country don't want to spend a lot of time uh, learning the place. It takes a few days to learn a new spot. I'll bring them to the to the birds and where the good spots are that day because being here every day uh, I know uh, where the action is uh, in what spots and I don't have to spend a lot of time looking around for stuff. Uh, working with Southern Photo, I uh, do some uh, uh, field uh, classes out here. And, uh, they aren't limited to age. Uh, the young people uh, seem to really like it and get into it. And, uh, some of those uh, people uh, were into uh, macro uh, photography with the flowers. Uh, and we have a lot of fl wildflowers here. So there's something for everybody here. Uh, a lot of them live here in town and uh, don't even know it's here. And uh, once they find it, I, I see them coming back showing up again. It would be a, really a good place for young people to come and learn photography because there's a lot of uh, subject matter here and close by and uh, they can get fairly decent pictures with uh, inexpensive cameras. Uh, they don't need uh, big lenses like I have to, to get good pictures uh, because the wildlife is so close to them. I, I've done some uh, foreign travel. I travel to the Galapagos Islands which every photographer wants to go to. I spent uh, five days uh, on a boat uh, around the Galapagos. There's some deep twisting ducks. And uh, then we spent uh, a week in the jungles in Ecuador. Uh, we were canoed in uh, by the natives and dug out canoes and uh, lived with the natives in the, the jungle for four or five days. That was really neat. I don't actively market my pictures. I, I, this is a hobby, not a business. And I figured as long as if I started to be a, get into business and pushing this stuff, uh, then it wouldn't be a hobby anymore. And uh, I worked long enough, now it's time to play. For VieraVoice.com, I'm Jack Sampson.